Last year, a group of people came together and we decided that it was time to change the rules of the game of life. What we see as the terms of engagement, how we engage with the world. And so what we did was we brainstormed over a period of three months what the new terms of engagement should be like. And this is about creating a whole new body of law, earth law if you like, law that puts people and planet first. And we looked to see what was there already, what has been proposed and what is yet to be created to create a governance system that we the people want so that we can create the beautiful new world. And what we came up with were 14 different laws and governance mechanisms. They include ecocide, which is an international crime against peace, which closes the door to mass damage and destruction. They include Earth Rights, the Universal Declaration for the Rights of Mother Earth, where we put the Earth's right to life, which includes both human and non-human right to life, and all those other rights that are life-affirming at the centre of this document. We also look to governance mechanisms that have yet to be created. How we create a system that governs our banks and the flow of our money, so that we ensure that the flow of money goes into the innovation in a completely different direction that is life-affirming rather than life-destroying. By the time we'd finished this document, we had come up with 14 different legal mechanisms, laws and proposals, and we've called this document the People's Document, the People's Declaration. And we looked back to the existing People's Declaration which was written by the United Nations in 1945, the United Nations Charter. And it actually starts with the words, we the people, not we the heads of state, not we the CEOs, uh, not we the heads of banks, but we the people. And so we the people call upon the United Nations once again, but this time we're saying that we have as our proposal those laws that can bring us into the new world create the emergence for something better to grow in its place. And this is about us leaving a legacy for future generations. We believe that now, in 2012, is the moment in time when we can change this world for the better. It is our window of opportunity for each and every one of us to stand up and give voice on behalf of the Earth and all who live here, and that's both human and non-human inhabitants. So I ask you, come and join us. Come and sign the declaration. You'll find it at www.thepeoplesdeclaration.com. Thank you.